It is loud and aggressive. <laughs> what is up, Unplug family? We are back at it again. We're getting back under the hood. Listen, I know you guys saw me put the new speed intake, open air intake. I took that off. I put in the full MST performance system. Big and beautiful, nice intake hose piping. So another thing that MST performance sent me was the inlet piping holes, like the big holes, but for the stock air box. Now, I don't want to put the stock air box back on, obviously, but we do have the new speed, which emulates the stock piping size because it was able to work with the stock inlet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the new speed cold air intake because I always wanted to hear it with a better inlet to see what that produces. We just trying to find our perfect sound. And also I'm trying to give you guys different applications so you guys can make a better decision. The new speed has a bigger air filter on it. But outside of that, it sounds amazing. So I just want to see how well does it sound if we give it more airflow into the turbo. So that's what we're going to figure out today. But I'm literally trying all these configurations for you guys. And the great thing about a lot of these setups from these different manufacturers is they're all modular. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get outside and get to working. This is the tool I was waiting on the last time I put the MST uh, performance intake system and it hadn't arrived, but it's here now. Oh, it's about to go down, baby, let's go. All right, gang, everything should go a lot quicker today since I got way more experience. It should turn out to be a quick process, so. Use this for the first time. This off of here really quick. Yeah, this one. Oh, there. Get this out of this one. This one off. I'm going to add this. This is the stock inlet piping setup. Now, I do kind of want to let me compare this to the size of the one that comes on the intake. What can you look like this one bigger? Out the cut. Definitely from like here to there, it's bigger, more air. So that's probably gonna be like the biggest difference. You look at that stock one. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna go on to our inlet area. Make sure we get a nice snug feel. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten up this bad boy right here. All right, we got good placement on everything. The beloved new speed air intake, baby. The worst one out the whole. This is this third one. <laughs> All right, we in there. Nice and sturdy. Uh, let me run the vacuum hose real quick. All right, so the way I ran that in between this like under this silver part right here is the way I saw in their uh, instructions. And I ran it on the car like that for a while. No issue, so. Yeah, that's not going nowhere. Nice and sturdy, baby. It's gonna be the first start of the MST inlet piping with the new speed coating. Right into the top, started from the flow. How we got up here, you don't need to know. Sniffing on a M, I need one of those Sniffing on a M like I got a cold Need to know, now nah, you don't need to know Ooh, y'all ready? Ooh, it is loud and aggressive <laughs> that is going to be the driving. Crack my window. You know, we got that new setup. Woo, that sounds so good. Come on, lane assist. You got to relax. Now, lane assist, man. I'm gonna have to talk about that in the later little thing, but. <laughs> oh, I love the 
sound. Oh man, yo, the new speed with a bigger inlet pipe, mwah, <laughs> for the ears, baby. That it, it, it's fire. Yeah, my car is. Yeah, and I can tell that having the bigger inlet pipe is getting that proper breath. Like you have to complement. If you're gonna put a cold air intake, you gotta complement it with the inlet pipe, and even more with that inlet elbow. I can't wait to get an inlet elbow. It's either gonna end up being racing line or MST performance, depending on how things go. I raced out to MST performance again, asking for the inlet elbow. If they don't come through, I probably just purchased the uh, racing line one. It would be nice to get the MST one because that one has always been rated one of the highest airflow uh, turbo inlet elbows in the game. So. I would like to have that. So I have like a pretty much what two thirds MST and then one third new speed. Ooh, we have max boost, baby. Let's go. Cold up. Oh, uh oh. Beamer, yo, you violation. You another German car gonna cut me off. Come on, bro. Sheesh. <laughs> yo, the turbo noises, baby. This build that I've put together thus far uh, for sounds is awesome. Like, I love it. I'm enjoying it a ton. I can't wait to put the exhaust system on here. I can't wait to put a downpipe. I can't wait to give this thing the proper breath so that it could just <sighs> and scream and breathe and do all that. Now, I know that there's like turbo uh, blow off valves. There's the turbo muffler deletes and all kind of things like that so we're gonna be having some fun with this car there's a lot of various levels and things that you can do for upgrading this car right now i'm gonna go pick up a curbside pickup and then on the way back we're gonna get some more turbo noises so i'll get back up with y'all in a minute Woo! all right unplug family let's go for a ride let's get some boost noises i just did a uh what do you call it? Curbside pickup at the container store. You guys already know I'm all about organizing my space. I got one of those three tiered carts that's on wheels and I got the inserts for it and the lid. It just helps with organizing. It's so, it's you know, this store is a great store. I, I never was hip about it. I always used to see them. Nevertheless, but now that I have an office space running a business and I, and I value organization because it helps you run your business more efficiently <laughs> which is always a plus in my book i'm all about it so pull up to your local container store get yourself organized and yeah that's what you should do so if you are a lucky owner at this point the only reason i say lucky owner is just because of you know the availability of these cars is tough even people who uh people who did allocations or pre-ordered this vehicle ahead of time like last year are still waiting for their vehicles i didn't do a pre-order i didn't do a deposit or nothing i just pulled up to a dealer and snatched the one they had now granted i paid a markup and it's part that's probably why the person whoever uh may have had a deposit with them probably backed out because i mean they were trying to get crazy money over i talked them down on their markup you know what I mean? I think initially they were trying to get like eight grand over, you know, and I was like, nah, and I kind of eased them down to a five grand markup, which is still a lot. So if you're lucky enough to have this car right now, they're not even taking orders on them. It's just off of allocations right now. I mean, sh chip shortages are causing people to get the Mach 8 Golf R's with no Harman Cardone system, which honestly may not be the worst thing because we'll talk about that Harman Kardon system a little later I'm gonna give my brutally honest opinion about that audio system but nevertheless you know it's not an easy car there's not a ton of them out there so if you are lucky to own this car and you are like a driver and you like sounds is that a year I think I said year is going going nuts right there you are able to you know add a cold air intake or something of that matter and get just such nice turbo noises and turbo spools and things like that and you can enjoy driving this car even more now i know that there's an exhaust system i got something in the works with that um i'm waiting on a uh more companies to come out but there's a specific company i have in mind so you guys will see what company that that is once it uh happens i'm still 
keeping my eyes and ears out for new parts and mods for this car. If you guys see any, you know what I mean, hit the comment section below and let me know anything that's dope and, and fresh that comes out. Like, like, just keep me up to date because right now, it's, this is just, you know, you're just sitting, waiting, and brands are uh, developing and, and releasing. And if you want it done right, you'll wait for the brands to do it the right way as opposed to, like, these quick rush fixes or anything or trying to just put Mach 7 and uh, parts on the Mach 8 and things like that. Let's try to be, you know, conservative. And, uh, well, let's try to be patient and wait for the Mach 8 specific products to come out. All right, let's get some noises. I'm a, um, crack the door. Turbo sounds so good on this car. Sounds really great. I said we could get some open way to have some more turbo spool fun. <laughs> oh man. The DSG shifting is ridiculous. You don't even feel it shift. Oh man, that's crazy. It's like pedal to the metal and the car just goes. You know, adding horsepower to this car is like, wow, it's gonna be crazy. Nice DSG farts. Man, listen here. Listen here. <laughs> Man, I was pushing fourth gear up into the upper 70s. Well, no, I wasn't. <laughs> We're in Mexico right now, y'all. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let me get off of this little highway right here. But yeah, like... The power. This, this car has crazy power. Crazy. And it doesn't feel like it. Like, you taking off. Like, the only time I felt like I was like, yo, I really feel the power in this car was when I was uh, launching it. Like, that's when I felt it. Like on me, so that's crazy. Don't get it twisted. Hold on. Nice little pull for y'all right there. Uh oh, let me slow down. You just hear the turbo. It just, it's just sucking air nonstop. This thing is just a beast. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And I'm nowhere near redlining when I'm shifting, man. I'm just trying to keep the engine a little lower so that you guys can hear that turbo, but... Whoa! Whoa! Raw power. Just like raw, raw power. I don't like when people drive uh, impatient. I don't want you around me. You've been made a mistake. I'm giving us some space, you know what I mean? from everyone else so that we can have fun on this next pool. So, I'm out of here. <laughs> Yo, this car. Oh my goodness. Yo, this car right here. Y'all don't want, hey, they don't want the smoke, bro. Most cars out there, y'all don't want smoke. Y'all don't even know, man. You gonna see the little, little, little mini, little hatch, hatchy back get on your neck. Yo, this car is crazy. And you wouldn't even expect it. You wouldn't look at this car and expect it. That's the cold part. Turbo noises. Beautiful. This car is crazy pops and bangs man this is stock exhaust system <laughs> oh my goodness in a golf in a golf hatchback 
Yo, this is crazy. Like, <laughs> yo, this car is absolutely nuts. All right, we're going to, now we got to go to crew. We're going to, we're going to keep it mellow because y'all remember how I pointed out earlier, there was a little knucklehead trying to catch people speeding up here at this little road that I'm going to have to cross. I should have turned, went down this way and took the little back way. No cap, but it's all good. Oh, he got the turbo. What, what is that? I just see turbo on the side of his joint. Oh, that's a Kia. Kia's got the little turbo. Okay. He don't want no smoke, though. Oh, no, that's a check. She don't want no smoke. I'm gonna keep it mellow though. All right, you guys. I like I like the system I have right now. I'm liking this uh, new speed open air intake along with the uh, MST turbo inlet. I gotta get a turbo uh, inlet uh, elbow, and that will complete my air intake system for the moment, unless something else comes out or another air intake system wants to challenge and send me their product and i'll put it to the test and test it and see if they can sway me their way like you know there's other systems out there that might be yeah <laughs> worthy of me switching to i won't even lie man this is i like the more i spend time with this car and the more i get to know this car another thing i want to talk about like somebody was asking me why don't you just send it crazy listen you got to get to know your car before you go crazy i mean i know some of y'all are just like y'all just go nuts like i like to spend time and get to know the bay my, my bay you know what i'm saying like i like the i like the bond 